In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use models to divide whole numbers that do not divide evenly. Just as a quick review for some division vocabulary, a dividend is the number we're trying to divide, the divisor is the number of groups we're dividing into, and the quotient is the answer or the number that goes into each group evenly. And today, we're going to have some numbers that do not divide evenly. So we'll have something left over called a remainder. The remainder is the part that does not equally get into a group. Here are some quick examples. 21 divided by 3 equals 7, the dividend, divisor, and quotient. And if you see a problem like this using the, um, the fraction, uh, forgetting it now, fraction box, I'm thinking what it's, forgetting what it's called, 40 divided by 5 equals 8, you read it inside out. All right, so we're gonna, first example we're going to try is to model 19 divided by 3 using a quick picture. My divisor is 3, and that's the number of groups I'm going to have. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to draw three groups that I'm going to share with. 1, 2, 3. So 3 is the number of groups that I'm sharing with. And I'm going to be sharing 19. For this example, I'm just going to make um, little tally marks. Okay, to count up to 19, I'm going to share 19 tally marks or 19 ones with each of my three groups evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've shared nine so far, and each group has three. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, I'm getting closer to 19, I want to slow down a little bit, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so I've shared 18. I want to slow down because I'm getting close to my dividend of 19. I've shared 6 with each group for a total of 18 that have been shared, and I have 1 left. And I can't put that 1 in this group because then it would have more than these other two groups. And the same is true if I try to put that extra one in either of these groups. It would cause the groups to be unequal. And the groups need to be equal when we're dividing. So because I cannot share my extra one with either of these three groups, it's called a remainder. And I'll write it outside, just on the side here. It does not fit in any of my groups. And to answer my question, 19 divided by 3 equals 6, we'll write it out here for you, 19 divided by 3 equals 6, because that's the number that each group got. The quotient is the number each group receives. 19 divided by 3 equals 6, remainder 1. And we usually write an R, 1, because there was 1 that did not fit equally into the group. So you might want to try some examples um, on your own now. Try drawing some quick pictures to divide these problems. 23 divided by 2. You know, Draw two groups and share 23 tallies evenly. You might have a leftover or some leftover. Who knows? You'll uh, try the next one. Five groups. Share 37 among five groups. And then try sharing 51 among four groups. 